Hey y'all, it's uh, Griffin Legend here. I'm doing my first vlog attempt ever. And I'm having an energy drink. So this might be interesting. Um, I think it's the energy drink even making me do this in the first place. I've been kind of wanting to do this for a long time actually. Um, since November of last year, 09. I wanted to kind of do a vlog series uh, about my nano troubles, but A, didn't have a computer. B, didn't have a camera that would really do anything. And uh, C, didn't have a program on which to edit anything. Um, and so, they didn't really happen. That's why <laughs> you're watching me right now, if you are watching me. Anyway, so today was a great day. Um, I went with my friend and my brother to this bookstore, this local bookstore that I'd never been to before. My friend was like, oh my gosh, we have to go to this bookstore. And I was like, okay, I love bookstores. And I really do. I mean, I love bookstores. I'll admit, I do not spend a lot of money on books. It's really bad. It's probably not helping support the author at all. I mean, maybe I should, like, you know, spend more money on books things. I want to be an author and, you know, like, maybe I should set a good example to all the, everybody else out there. But no, I usually buy my books used and then usually I don't spend more than, like, a dollar on them. I love the local library because it has free books. Free books are great. So anyway, so we went to this bookstore. The first thing I did was I saw the door handles. So the door handles were, like, books. They were, like, shaped like, it was the coolest thing ever. And so, I, like, that caused me to geek out, right? Because it was a great bookstore. Um, uh, we spent, like, half an hour in the kids' section, like, playing with all the things that they had in there. They had, like, puppets in there. They had, like, a hermit crab puppet with, like, articulated legs. In your face. I named him Harry. Because he had no hair. Yeah. That's so awesome. Can I put it on? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Can I wear it? Please? Please, 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 please. Yeah, here, hold it's, that. It's a gigantic hermit crab. Yeah, I know, but it's a fully articulated hermit crab. Oh, my gosh. How much does it cost? I want to know. 24 bucks. For 24 bucks, you too could own your own hermit crab. What's your crab's name? Harry. Harry? Yeah. Because he has none. He's compensating. <laughs> we also wanted to go see Despicable Me. I uh, know it was cute. Like um, we kind of wanted to see it since it came out. Um, actually, it's really funny because I don't normally go to see movies, but every movie I want to see in the next couple of months is kind of a kids' movie. It's like I want to see the movie Tangled. I want to see Megamind. What was the other movie that I wanted to see? Chronicles of Narnia doesn't come out till December. I want to see that when it comes out. That might be it. That might be it. So first. We went into Toys R Us, and that was cool, because we like, walked around Toys R Us for forever, and we had a Nerf sword fight. Turns out fighting with two swords is actually more difficult than the movies would have you believe. Uh, it's really difficult when two people are attacking you from the side. So in Toys R Us, they had like a cooler, and we saw the energy drinks, and my friend and my brother were like, Hey, let's all get each get an energy drink, and then drink them and see what happens. And I was like, that'd be really stupid, because I know how I get on caffeine. They're like, let's do it anyway! And I was like, okay! So we did. Okay, so I had my first amp today. Um, I had the orange citrus one, I don't know. It started to feel it immediately. I was like, okay, I'm lightheaded now. And I got really, really loopy. And then we went into Spickle Me. And so we're sitting there, and so we're like in the theater, and they're like, we're all almost adults. And then right behind us is this family with like two little kids. They're like, I don't know, eight. And then <laughs> behind them is like a family with like two other little kids. And that's the only people in the theater. It's this whole theater, and there's like eight of us in there total. And... We're all laughing at it way more than the little kids are. It was really, I mean, it was funny. It was probably funnier because we were all really high on caffeine and energy drinks. It was really, yeah, it was probably the reason for most of the giggles. Okay, best moment of the day, I think, by all means possible. Okay, one of my favorite Disney movies of all time is The Great Mouse Detective. It's seriously one of my most favorite movies of all time from Disney. And I was like, I have it on tape. And I was like, okay, when are they going to have this movie come out on DVD? Because I kind of want it on DVD. I mean, like, just because I think that movie gets no love and it needs to have more love. And all these other movies were getting their DVD releases and these are all the more well-known ones. And I was like, come on, you got to get, like, Great Mouse Detective has no love. So you really need to get this one out. Well, we were at Toys R Us and my brother just kind of suddenly goes, Griff, oh my gosh. And I was like, what? And he was like, look. And it was the Great Mouse Detective on DVD. I didn't buy it because I didn't have quite enough money, but I totally would have if I had enough money because that movie, I seriously love it. And my VHS is kind of getting worn out because it's like as old as I am. I'm not even kidding. So, yeah, love that movie. And I was like, finally, Great Mouse Detective gets the love that it needs. It needs to get more love because I love that movie a lot. 
because it's like Sherlock Holmes, but with mice. How awesome is that? So yeah, that was that was that was the best moment in the whole day, I think. Except for maybe the adorable candles. Or the frog hat. Anyway. Can you make your funny faces at the camera? My brother's jealous of me because I can do the both eyebrows. Like some people can only do one. He can only do one. It's really funny. Because I can have one eyebrow and then I can have the other eyebrow. One's better than the other, this one's better than the other one. But I can do both of them. I probably find that way funnier than it should be. So in noveling world, things are interesting because I've considered, I'm seriously considering, in fact, it's almost completely final that I'm going to be adding another character, like, as the romantic lead instead of Laura, because Clark and Laura, seriously, are not working. Like, I wrote them as to be for each other, and it doesn't, it's not working. It's not working, okay? Like, it's not functioning. And so, this new character, though, I kind of added her in, and I was sort of kind of scribbling some stuff with her, and um, her temporary name is Melody. And... I don't know. I tend to name characters just temporary names. Like, Clark's name started out temporary. I didn't think I was going to name him Clark. I ended up naming him Clark. But usually my temporary names usually end up being their real names. Like, Laura's name. Actually, I think everybody's name in this novel started as a temporary name. Because Clark was temporary. Laura was temporary. And Melody's starting out temporary, but it's probably going to become permanent because I kind of like the name. Oh my gosh, I have a whole rant to do on feminine characters. Believe me, I don't have cable, but I'm at somewhere that does. So, like, I'm getting my first taste of a bunch of cable shows, which I never would watch because uh, I'm bored. And um, I have nothing else to do besides make silly videos and see kids' movies. I watched Peter Pan 2 the other day. So I've been watching like, like TNT. I've been watching a lot of drama shows, which they're all copper medical dramas. It's like, seriously, people, can we not make a drama about something else? But I was watching The Closer, and I've only ever seen one episode. But it's actually really interesting because it's hard to explain. It was really great. I have a whole rant to do. Um, and then I was watching, and then I, right after that comes on... Um, Rizzoli and Isles, I think it was, with the two the two women. Um, and I didn't like that nearly as much. Like, seriously, I, like, I have a whole rant to do, like, comparing them. But that, that'll come later, I guess. Maybe that'll be another vlog or a vlog. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure how this is all going to go. Hi, Toby. How are you? Yeah. So anyway, like, so, so Melody would be, like, a slightly more feminine name. And I, I don't know. I have thought process that goes into it. And most of it gets completely lost in production. So I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, so, um... She came in, and she she and Clark were talking. It was weird, because... Okay, first of all, it's weird talking about my characters like this, because my characters do not exist outside my head. They're not, like, people that I have conversations with, and they don't do things... Well, they do do things on their own. It's hard to explain. My characters basically run my show. I don't plot things out. I just sort of, like, go from what my characters do, which is why plotting things for me is a bad idea, because I'll plot things, and then it'll never happen that way, because my characters are always developed enough to do something different. So, Clark and Laura never really talked. I mean, they talked, but, like, it just wasn't working. Like I said, chemistry just wasn't there. And then all of a sudden, I put Clark and Melody together, and suddenly there's, like, chemistry, and there's, like, stuff going on. And I was like, hey, that's weird, because, first of all, they're my characters, and it's weird that I'm not really controlling them. I'm just kind of going with what they're doing. It's weird. Writers are weird. I try to explain this to my mom, and she doesn't understand. She just looks at me like, aren't you the creator? And I'm like, yeah, but you don't understand. Characters do their own thing. It's weird. Um... I, I don't know. There's a lot going on with Clark. And I actually really like him. Um, but the thing is, I'm trying to make a complex female character as well, because it seems like all of my more interesting characters are male. And I don't know why that is. And I don't like it, because I'm a girl. And I'm like, seriously, can't I write an interesting female character? Maybe it's because a lot of my female characters have a lot of me in them, and I'm boring. I am. I'm boring. If you're watching this, you know that. No, seriously. The highlight of my day was seeing The Great Mouse Detective on DVD. Wanna make a face, Toby? So yeah, peace out. See you guys later.